praise the Lord. Lord, we need you to hold us in the hollow of your hand. Truly, it's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord one more time. We give God the highest praise, the honor, and the glory. For he truly is worthy to be praised. Amen. To our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and to the Holy Spirit who is our comforter and our guide. Amen. 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 Look like, would like to say uh, we thank God for you, Brother uh, Deacon Wadsworth, for all our officers and members. Amen. Visiting friends, we greet you all in the precious name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. It's good to be here. Amen. One more time. In the presence of the Lord. Yes. Mind you, this is the first Sunday in June. Amen. And amen. Uh, and everything you said you was going to start on January the 1st. <laughs> if you ain't got started, time passing you by. Amen. amen. So we got we to gotta get our house in order and, and, well, and get on the ball to do the things that God has called us too. Amen. We don't want to pull on the time, but there's a word from the Lord, and we're going to be coming from 1 Kings chapter number 18. 1 Kings chapter number 18. Don't desire to be before you long. But as I learned from my granddaddy coming up as a young boy, it don't take a whole lot of words to get your message across. One point of time, I thought my granddaddy couldn't talk. He hardly said a word. But when he spoke, he spoke with authority. Everybody in the house, when he began to talk, was salute. <laughs> because granddaddy was talking amen. amen so with that in mind our God don't just waste words he speaks with authority and if you have faith and believe what the Lord says amen his blessing his favor life will come upon you first king chapter number 18, we're going to begin reading at verse number 36. First Kings chapter 18, verse 36, and it reads, And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel and that I am thy servant and that I have done all these things at thy word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the Lord God and that thou hast turned their heart back again. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood and the stone and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. And when, the, when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, the Lord is the God the Lord, he is the God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Elijah said, Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the God the Lord God and that you have turned their heart back again. Amen. 
Father in heaven, in Jesus' name. We pray now, Lord, that your spirit have free course. Speak, Lord, for your servants is listening. Anoint the ears and the hearts of your people that they may hear and understand what the Spirit is saying to the church. Now, Lord, let the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, for you are my rock and my redeemer. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Elijah said, hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that you are the Lord God. Amen. We'd like to use for a subject, until heaven come down, until heaven come down. Amen. We live in a terrestrial realm. Y'all done heard of E.T. E.T. was an extra terrestrial. In other words, he was from a place beyond this terrestrial realm this earth, this earthly realm. Now I'm not trying to put God in a, an E.T. place. <laughs> I'm just trying to share with you that God is above this earthly realm. Amen. There's an earthly realm and then there's a heavenly realm. Terrestrial and celestial. Celestial is the heavenly realm. Y'all stay with me. The natural way of doing things, or you have natural beings, and then you have supernatural beings. Amen. You have the fleshly. Beings. And then you have the spiritual being. Amen. Fleshly and natural and terrestrial are limited. But when you talk, start talking about celestial, supernatural, and spiritual, the limits are taken off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is that supernatural being. That divine presence. That divine being. God is not of this world. <laughs> Hallelujah. You have things in this earth. But then you have heavenly things as well that we can't see. Natural things and earthly things are limited. Amen. But the eternal things, the spiritual things, the divine things, the limits are taken off. We go going somewhere, y'all. Bear with me. Ain't but so much we as human beings can do. But if we include heaven, all things are, are possible. <laughs> Amen. We can't even get out of bed in the morning. Except the divine being, the Lord God Almighty. Gives us the activities of our limbs. The Bible says, for in him we live and move and have our being. Praise the Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. I'm trying to take my time here, but thing going to get out of hand because I, I, I feel my helper coming now. All right. Because I know in my daily walk, ain't but so much I can get accomplished. Ain't but so much I can do to situations and circumstances that I'm faced with. But I have to include heaven in my faith. I have to call down the God, amen, of heaven to intervene in my earthly affairs. That's good news today. Because if we were left to ourselves, my brothers and sisters, we could not make it from day to day. But when we call on the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, amen, we can accomplish great things. Anybody ever feel vulnerable? To Satan's attacks. Anybody ever feel. That you can't go on. That your strength is gone. And, and, and how am I going to make it another day. But then you have learned something. By being a Christian. You have learned. How to pray. Until heaven come down. Yes. Thank you Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Amen. See when you call down heaven. You got a whole host that'll work on your behalf. Hallelujah. When you call down heaven, you got a savior that'll move on your behalf. You got a Holy Spirit, amen, that'll guide you and protect you, amen. You got almighty God that'll move things out of your way. But you got to learn how to call down heaven. Thank you, Lord. See, too many of us are worried today, stressed, amen, perplexed. Many of us are overcome and don't know what we're going to do. And it's because we're trying to do too much on our own. Brothers and sisters, you got to understand this flesh is limited. But our God can do all things but fail. If you learn how to get him involved in your earthly affairs, you will find out things could happen that you couldn't normally do. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Here in the scripture, we find the prophet Elijah. And Elijah, amen, was the prophet of the most high God, the true and living God. Amen. As he said, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Amen. There were other gods during that time as, as it is nowadays. But those other gods were false gods. Amen. There's only one true God. One Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Amen. But Elijah came to Mount Carmel and there was a contest between the one true God amen and the other false God I'm just going to tell the story and take my seat amen so Elijah came by himself but there was hundreds of other false prophets that met him on Mount Carmel Thank you, Lord. See, it don't matter how many are against you as long as you learn how to call down heaven. Amen. You are still a majority, even if you are by yourself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See, in this walk that we walk, amen, especially when you try to do great things, you're going to always have somebody coming up against you. Amen. You, you might not have done anything wrong, but they will gather themselves against you. But you got to learn how to call on the name of Jesus. For when they come against you, amen, the Bible say they come against you one way. They'll end up running from you seven different ways. Trying to get away 
from that power that you have. I done seen it too many times. When people rise up against me, somebody said it like this. A wise man once said nothing. Amen. Sometimes you just got to hold your peace and rest in the Lord. And he will fight your battle. Ain't the Lord all right. Those same ones that came up against me, the tables turned mighty fast. And they ended up depending on me. Thank you, Lord. Let me tell the story. All the, can you see all these prophets coming up against one man? They thought they had an advantage because they had so many numbers against one person. But let me tell you one thing. Amen. When you got God on your side, hallelujah. Who, if God be for you, who shall be against you? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me slow down and tell the story. But they met on the mountain. Amen. But listen, why were they on the mountain? It's because God told them to meet there. And let me tell you something. When you're out here trying to fight your own battles, you fight a losing battle. You need to follow what thus said the Lord. When God put you in position, sometimes it seems like it's, amen, you're not going to win. But God put you there. Amen. So he can get the glory through your life. Let me share something with you. Ain't no way. Elijah would have chose to go against all them people right. by himself. Right. Amen. Uh -huh. But God sent him there. Uh -huh. And in his obedience, uh -huh. he gained the victory. Yeah. So what that let us know? Brothers and sisters, if you're going to walk in this spiritual walk, yeah. you got to learn how to call down heaven yeah. into what you are doing. Yeah. Because God ain't going to put you out there and leave you by yourself. Thank you, Jesus. But they gathered on Mount Carmel. And Elijah said, Y'all call on y'all God. And I'm going to call on my God. And the one that answers by fire. That's the one true God. Ain't it something? All them people started calling on Baal. That was the name of their false god. Came the morning. No answer. Over in the afternoon. No answer. Over in the evening. No answer. Elijah began to mock them. Where is your god? Amen. Maybe he on vacation. Maybe he out to dinner. Maybe he doing something else. And they ain't got time to be here. But where is your God? See, my brothers and sisters, don't worry about people that threaten you with this foolishness. Because when you got God on your side, they got to come through him to get to you. Hallelujah. Long as you fall in the will of God, the devil can't do you no harm. No need to worry. No need to fret, but trust in the living God yes. with all your heart. Yes. And don't lean to your own understanding. Yes. But in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Yes. So Elijah said, it's about time for the evening sacrifice. Yes. Amen. So I want to build an altar. In the name of my God. Yeah. Amen. Bring me a bull. Put it on the altar. Fill the water. The water pots. And pour it on top of the offering. Yeah. Look at God. God can do amazing things. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Thank you Jesus. Not only pour the water on the sacrifice. But I want you to dig around. Amen. The altar. Amen. And all the water that was on the sacrifice filled up the ditch around the altar. 
God is amazing. Yes. Let me tell you something. Sometimes God will tell you to do things uh -huh. and you will wonder, Lord, why are you telling me to do this? Lord, this don't make no sense. Why are you telling me to do this? But God getting ready to do something he ain't never done before. I'm almost want to testify, but I don't want to tell my business. Amen. But God did something for me just Friday. Amen. God moved in the people to make decisions that they ain't never made before. Just to open a door for me to get through. That's all I'm going to tell you. Hallelujah. Sometimes God will put you between a rock and a hard place just so you can learn how to believe in him. Thank you, Jesus. But here is Elijah. Amen. On the mountain by himself. But know that he's not by himself because the Lord is with him. See, my brothers and sisters, amen, when you sing, you ought to sing until heaven come down. Yeah. Nobody really want to hear your voice, but they want to hear the anointing behind your voice. Yeah. Ain't the Lord all right? Yeah. You can sing amazing grace all you want to. Yeah. Amen. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Yeah. If you not been saved, Amen. Ain't no anointing in that. Because you don't know what you're singing about. But you get somebody that says saved. And God has saved them by his grace. When they sang amazing grace. Oh, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I know what I'm talking about. You will learn how to sing heaven down. Because you will know what you're singing about. Ain't the Lord all right? Yes, yes. See, when I come in here to preach, I don't preach just to get an amen. Yes. Preach just to get, you know, just to be talking. Yes. I preach because God gave me a word yes. to give to the people. Yes. God gave me a word to feed the sheep. Yes. Amen. And I don't play with God's word. Yes. A charge to keep I have. Yes. A God to glorify. Yes. A never dying soul to save. And I got to be fitted for the sky. I can't be playing with the Lord. I got to preach like I ain't never preached before. Every time I stand up, I got to preach until heaven come down. See, when you want something from God, stop moping and gloping, dooming and glooming, having a pity party. Amen. Woe is me. You got to learn how to praise heaven down. Praise the Lord. Watch heaven come down. Shout to the Lord and watch heaven come down. Worship God in spirit and in truth and watch heaven come down. Ain't the Lord all right? But here is Elijah all by his lonesome. Amen. But he began to pray like he knew how to pray. The Bible said, he said, Lord, hear me. Yes. Amen. I am your servant. Yes. Amen. And I have done what you have commanded me. Yes. I am your child. Yes. Hear me, O oh Lord, yes. at this hour. Yes. Amen. And God will yes. hear and answer your prayer. Yes. Sometimes you got to wait on the Lord. Yes. But sometimes he'll answer immediately. Yes. Depend on the situation. Yes. Hallelujah. God will hear yes. and answer your prayer. The Bible said, Amen. Hear me, O Lord. The Bible said the fire of the Lord came down. In an instant, heaven came down. In a moment, fire came down. And that was some kind of fire. Yes. Amen. Wasn't like the fire in your fireplace. That was a different kind of fire. Yes. That was heavenly fire. Yes. That was celestial fire. That was supernatural fire. Yes. Because it burned up the offering. Yes. Burned up the wood. But the Bible said yes. it licked up 
up the water. That's some kind of fire that can burn up water. Thank you, Jesus. Burn up everything. Amen. That is on the altar. Burn up the stone and the dust. Y'all ain't never seen no fire that can burn up rocks. Amen. But the fire of God is a different kind of fire. That fire can refine us. That fire can burn up our sin and make us pure. Ain't the Lord all right? Thank you, Jesus. But that fire came down that day. And the Bible said, Elijah prayed, Come see about me, Lord, and show these people that you are God. Brothers and sisters, don't be despair. Don't be discouraged because what you are going through, God is just using you for his glory. And when he come down, everybody gonna know that you serve the true and living God. Everybody gonna know where your help come from. The Bible said, when they saw it, look what they did. They fell down on their faces. They began to humble themselves because they saw what God can do. Don't worry about being sick today. Amen. God is a miracle worker. Just hold on to God's unchanging hand. He will heal you and let the world know that he is a healer. Don't worry about your enemies today because by and by, after a while, God will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy. Amen. He'll make your enemy your footstool. If you trust in the living God, you may not fight that battle on your own. But if you learn how to call out down heaven, God will fight your battle for you. Confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you will connect with heaven. Yeah. Repent of your sin. Yeah. Be baptized yeah. in the name of Jesus Christ yeah. and you will connect with heaven. Yeah. Anybody need a heavenly connection? Yeah. Hallelujah. Lord, I can't do it on my own. Yeah. Hallelujah. I need you, Jesus. Yeah. Yes. Come down and see about me yes. and God will. He will see about you. When we were living in a world of sin, instead of sending a flood to wash the world away, God sent down Jesus to intervene in earthly affair. Ain't the Lord all right? He was born by a virgin. Amen. Can't no virgin have no baby. And y'all out there, if you got a girl or a wife that's a virgin, and she come home pregnant. Yeah. Amen. Ain't no more Jesus being born. <laughs> Hallelujah. God made that heavenly thing happen in our earthly affair. That one time so that Jesus could come into this world to suffer, bleed, and die. He hung on the cross, but he died. Amen. They buried him. But early on Sunday morning, something heavenly happened. Something supernatural happened. He got up from the grave with all power in his hand. Thank you, Jesus. And he said, hallelujah, if you call on me, I will come running. If you trust in me, I will fight your battle. If you call on the name of Jesus, he will come see about you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Sing. Pray. Preach. Worship the Lord until heaven come down. Hallelujah. He will visit you in your affliction. Hallelujah. Hezekiah was visited by the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah said, King Hezekiah, get your house in order. Because you are about to die. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thus saith the Lord. Granted by God. 
15 more years. If that ain't calling down heaven, I don't know what is. You better learn how to talk to the Lord and get him to come down here and join in what you got going on. We don't know where death is. A lot of stuff in this world. Amen. But God gave us grace and granted us more time. But what about the danger that we didn't know about? Hallelujah. That God saved us from. We ought to be praising the Lord. We ought to be giving him glory and honor. We should be worshiping him. Hallelujah. And praising his adorable name. Until heaven come down. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name. We, your earthly creation, formed from the dust of the ground, made into this sinful flesh. Yet when we called on you by faith, you said you were here and answer our prayer. You know our frame, for you've created us. You know we're in this sinful flesh. But still, you desire to hear our prayer. You still desire a relationship with us. A divine being. A heavenly God. A spiritual God. You still desire a relationship with us. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord. That though we sin by thought, word, and deed, you forgive us. You give us mercy. And you extend your grace to us. We thank you now. Father, I pray now that you intervene in somebody's life today. Intervene in somebody's affair. You know their circumstances. You know their situation. We pray, Lord, that you come now from your throne on high. Visit them where, right where they stand. If they're sick, Lord, if they are confused, if they are lonely and depressed, if they are mean and wicked, Lord God, and hateful, we pray that you visit them in the name of Jesus. Work a supernatural work in their life. Lord, we know that you're able because you've done it so many times before. Work a divine work in their life today. And we'll be careful to give you glory, honor, and praise because we know at the end of that thing, we'll know that it was you, Lord, that did it. And not we ourselves. And we thank you in advance. In what you are about to do. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah.